Hey guys, the end man here. I, I figured I'd make a video like this because it's it's something that really I, I take to I take to heart, you know? Um as many of you may or may not be aware, um October 9th of this month, my stepfather passed away after a long, long fight with lung disease and then cancer, ultimately. Um, that's why there was a bit of a lull in videos for a little, for a few days in case you were, in case you weren't paying attention. I, or, I ordinarily don't make these kinds of videos when I'm this emotional about something. Usually I'll just make a post on Facebook or something like that and be like, Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I'll just let you guys know that I'm going through stuff and that. But this one, this one is actually very personal because I'm not sure I'd be here today if it weren't for him. This man did incredible things for my mom and for basically the rest of my family. And... And we loved him. We he we welcomed him into the family. And he and my mom started dating in oh, I want to say 2011. And uh, he, I mean he wasn't legally my stepfather, but he may as well have been. The only reason they never got married again was because of reasons, and I don't want to get into them. Um. But yes, my he he they started dating in about 2011. I wasn't too keen on him back then. I was going through stuff myself along with my sister and Lord knows we were going through a lot of stuff and the what the last thing I wanted to do was meet another meet another guy for that my mom was dating. Cuz she'd gone through several since my her and my father got divorced and some of them I I really enjoyed, others I kind of didn't. But with him, he grew on me. And the better and better and more and more he grew on me to the point where when we were in Florida for Christmas vacation of 2011, mom, my mother actually asked me what I thought of him. And I said, I like him. I think he's a nice guy. And apparently, while I was going through my stuff, while I was uh, finding good clothes to wear for his wake and funeral, I found a journal that I had apparently had kept all this time. And in it is me talking about him and being like, well, I don't know. I, I, I like him okay. But what matters to me most is if he makes my mom happy. And yeah, he, he, he made my mom a very, very happy woman. And the two of them spent almost every waking moment with each other. There were highs and lows in their relationship like there are and it is in any relationship. But in 2017... When we had our, when we all had to leave where I had originally been living, um, he, without question, took my mom in. While my sister moved in with a boyfriend and I moved in with my father, he, without question, took my mother in. And the two of them had lived together pretty much since then. They constant, they were, they were each other's best friend. They were each other's. So basically, like they said, they were basically each other's soulmates, even though both of them had kids with another with another uh, spouse. But what you going to do there? And I don't really think deep down that I appreciated him as much as I should have prior to him, lear me learning that he had gotten sick. And I'll be honest, it, it, it hurt. It really did hurt. When I first found out that he was sick because this guy had been through basically everything. He has done everything. He's he'd seen everything. 
he had kids he had he had a grandson he, sorry my uh <laughs> My, my vinyl figure of Riku apparently has a lot of dust on his head. Needed to at least wipe some of it off. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I didn't really expect to, I didn't really take it well when I found out he got sick. Because this guy took care of my mom for a lot of the times when I really just couldn't because we weren't living together anymore. And it was nice to welcome him fully into the family. Basically, we started in 2016. We, we fully embraced him because for a while, my mom was very protective and like secretive with him so she would just go to spend time with him and I'd be like okay but the more time we spent with him the more my sister and I basically we basically realized we loved the guy he was he was in essence our second father and without him I don't really think I'd be here right now because he took care of my mom He's helped my sister through a lot of difficult times. He's helped me out through a lot of difficult times. I remember one day earlier this year, um, I had recently been in a bit of a car accident and my car was having a lot of problems to the point where we got it all, we got everything fixed. We had the tire ready. To, we, had, we had to get a new tire and a new rotor and all that. It was ready to go. I took the car to work. And then as I was leaving work, the battery was dead. And this guy came up, woke up at six in the morning when he didn't have to go out at all and drove over to me and tried to help jump my car. It didn't work, but he took me, he, he did that for me. He then took me to the, sto the bagel store and we got breakfast and I basically, and he told me, oh, no, you can wait at our house if you want or anything, pretty much. You, you can wait at our house until the tow truck comes to bring it back to the, back to the mechanic. But this guy, he didn't have to do that. Like, I had people who lived in the neighborhood that could have helped me or that I could have called. But the minute I brought it up to my mom, he took the phone from her and said, where are you? And I'll be there in a few minutes. So I, I really cannot stress enough how much that guy did for me. He was a real, real, like I said, a second father to me. And when it became inevitable that he was going to pass, I started spending more and more time there. For better or for worse, depending on how you look at it, but... I spent almost every waking moment there that I could with my mom and him. Not even not even doing anything, just sitting there and enjoying each other's company. Because this guy did so much for my mom and me and my sister. Hell, even even my dad, I mean let's just say there's something that's going on on my dad's side of the family that's kind of alienated some of us. And rather than have my dad be alone on Christmas, he called my dad and said, you come over to our house on Christmas. So it's basically been a tradition the last few years of my mom and him, and him, my stepfather, my dad, my sister, myself, and my grandmother basically just going and celebrating Christmas, eating foods and candy and cake and watching Christmas specials. I had I I couldn't ask for a better Christmas. You guys know how how I feel about Christmas. It's like the best time of the year for me. And to realize I'm not going to have that this year or ever again is not going to lie. It hurts. It really hurts because I had and I do fully welcome him into my family and. 
I'll be honest, it's, it's like I said, it's just going to be really hard to fathom him not being there. But all through that, the, re the biggest reason I'm making, the two reasons I'm making this video, and it's because of the kind of impact that he left on me. The first is a more personal one, and I mean, the guy was suffering through cancer. He was in and out of the cancer treatment hospitals in New York City, driving himself there because my mom is it has anxiety and she can't drive and his kids are some one of his kids is in Pennsylvania one of them is in far upstate and the other one was working like seven jobs and he ended up taking himself to get his treatments and his radiation but all that time he wasn't worried about himself he was worried about other people i i brought him and my mom lunch one day i went i drove to taco bell and got a ton of tacos for everybody. And he pulled me aside and he said, I'm worried about your mom. I'm like, my mom, <laughs> you should be worried about you being healthy, being there for your grandson and your kids and being there for my sister's wedding. And he's like, I, I, I don't really worry about me, though. I worry about your mom, that she's doing all this stuff for me and no one's really there to comfort her. And I'm like. There is no way you can be this kind of a guy. Like there's there's no way. I've seen I've been I've been flung through the ringer way too many times to to see that. I I there's got to be something behind this, but there's not. He is just that he was just that nice of a man. And my last really fond memory of him was um the ba I think it was that same day, right around the time I had just uploaded my, uh, uh, my, and then along came Zeus meme videos, and to, and he's not, the, he wasn't the biggest fan of, like, animated films and all that, he did like a few, he, like, I think he said The Little Mermaid was the one that he really enjoyed with his kids, and, like, Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin and, and that jazz, like, those three he enjoyed, but, to see him laugh at at those videos, it really warmed my heart because he didn't have to. He could have just said, I, "I I don't get it." Like he did that with he did that with Panda when he asked me what Panda the uh, Chris does for a living, and I'm like, "Oh, he he's he makes videos on on uh he makes he streams on Twitch. He makes videos on YouTube. He's on Trovo. Well, not anymore. I don't think anybody's on Trovo anymore." And he's like, I don't get it. Why would you want to do that? And I'm like, yeah, that's that's a that's a completely fair and honest perspective of it. He didn't have to laugh at my videos, and it wasn't didn't seem like a forced laughter. Like he literally almost fell out of his chair laughing at the uh, <laughs> at the Emperor's New Groove one, and it really did move me to to a degree. So. His passing, I I have not taken well. It's he's, he was a very he was a great man, and I am gonna miss him. The re and one of the reasons I bring this up is because the last video that I've made at this point, I'm gonna make it official as of this moment. One of the videos. That I have in my 25 videos of Christmas. Is being dedicated to him. And that is the one that's going on. Uh, oh, blah, 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 going up on Christmas Day. And it's an openings video. To his favorite. To one of his favorite Christmas videos. Christmas movies of all time. And his, him and his daughter's personal favorite. Uh, the Santa Claus. That is going to be the one that goes up for him. So. Technically, at this point, you have one option that is completely off the boards. Uh, there are going to be 24 other videos being made. Don't worry. I have not forgotten you guys. Keep pushing in the uh, the requests and the nominations. And if you win, you will find out in December. Or if you've made like a very specific request video... If I'm if I'm asking you what this is or what do you want from this or if there's a specific one you're interested in, 
just assume that you you are a, you are a finalist. So, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that there's going to be a video for him because, truth be told, if he wasn't here, if he wasn't there to impact my life, I don't think I would be here right now. So, thank you guys for hearing me out a little bit. I will see you guys some other time. Sayonara.